Welcome back Stoner Squad and welcome to all those new to the channel. My name is Danny Stone and thank you for joining me today for some more Imperator Rome playing as a glorious Republic of Athens. So the time is upon us dear people. The breakout war against Macedon shall begin. The one where we try to push them back and take what is rightfully ours and notably what Boeotia has here so I can do the missions and probably get the little bits that are left over here. Maybe try and push a bit more um, across the strait here maybe. We will see but the time is right. We have a lot of alliances, a lot of people want to join us. I'm feeling good about it. We have a fair bit of manpower. Not at the max, but we still have enough. Our army size is pretty big. We have 34 cohorts. Uh, Macedon has 88 cohorts, but we are bringing Thracian, which have 34. Egypt, which have 200 and freaking 19. And the Romans, who have also a whopping 81. So we pretty much outnumber Macedon, I think. Um, even if they do bring their allies in, we should pretty much outnumber the guys, so there's nothing really to worry about there. Um, so let's get the game rolling. So what we need to do here is definitely declare the war on Boeotia, because this is going to be what I want. Go to claim, take Boeotia. Going to bring even Gortina can come in. So we'll bring all you guys in. Um, this is definitely worth the while. Let's go, let's go, let's go. So uh, yeah, am, am I doing the right thing? I think so. <laughs> what time? Time will tell. Time will tell. Um, I'm going to force it through the Senate, but it is what it is. I just want to actually double check if I've ticked everybody. Yeah, we've ticked them all. We call our partners in. Let's go. Time is upon us, people. The time for war is now here. Yes, they joined us. They've all joined. Everybody's joined. It's all good. It's all fantastic. Let's get rolling. Take you off that. Put you on force mark. Let's quickly destroy that um, 14k stack. I want to get rid of them quickly. Um, here we are going to go over and try and take this fort as quickly as possible. There's a lot of forts to take here, so it's going to be quite a long slog. Uh, but um, anyway, let's get rolling. Okay, so hopefully we should wipe out some of the Macedonian troops here. Yeah, we put, what tactic are they using, by the way? They're using envelopment, which is interesting. Very interesting indeed. Alright, so they've been wiped, which is good. Let's go and finish them off over here, maybe. Can I finish them off here? Are they going backwards and forwards? I think they are. I think they're going backwards and forwards. Where are they going now? Patre, let's wipe them out. Are they retreating across the strait? How can they retreat across the strait? I've got a fort. Okay, well, let's get back down here now. I need to come down this side here and reinforce this front. Definitely got to do that. So let's get you all the way down here now. Um, I've got one unit here for a reason. Um, just because I would like to embark them on the ship and take Gina, uh, Aegina. Uh, Egypt and Gortina, they should arrive hopefully pretty soon. Egypt are mobilising. Yeah, they're, they're going to be mobilising, so we just need to hold a little bit until these guys can mobilise. Thrace are mobilising up north as well. Come on, let's get you guys all the way down here now. We need to keep you guys together. 14% Four, there now. Let's go and actually deal some damage to the siege down here. Let's go and free. Oh no, they're actually moving somewhere else. Take you off Force March actually. Now. Where are they going? To Thebe? No, they're not going into Thebe. Um, let's go and stick... I'm going to stick you guys quite close to each other. I don't want to kind of move you off um, in somewhere where you could get caught out. Let's keep you guys together. 21% chance for it to fall. Oh. Phrygia declared war upon Egypt. Okay, that's annoying and that changes a few things. Okay, well Phrygia have got no manpower. That's stupid. They have a civil war that's about to break out. Um... Why do the fridge have to peers off that way? Hopefully Egypt will come in for some come down with some men. I'm hoping that's what's gonna happen. Who joined the war with Macedon? All of their tributaries did. Hopefully Rome is gonna send us some men over. We're gonna need some. What's our tech level compared to Macedon? We have a load of tech level before. Yeah, we have like quite a few tech levels ahead of them. Yes, the siege has been taken there. That's really, really good news actually. Um, the civic concern, so the leader of the civic faction, uh, or the faction, sorry, uh, yeah, well, the civic faction, has proposed a potentially favourable deal. Yeah, I'm going to take the tax hit here. I can't afford him to be disloyal. We're in a war. I don't want to, how to put it, I would not like to um, get people disloyal and get a civil war going. So I'm going to move you up here now. Let's keep moving together. Don't want to split you guys up. Andros is joining with some men, which is pretty cool. Sparta are probably going to join up as well. Hopefully they will. Come on. That fort is going to stop them over there. We just need to occupy this war goal here. It's to take Boeotia. Let's occupy the war goal. Then we can focus on doing some damage to the others. 
There's a fort there that stops them, so that's going to slow them down a little bit. I'm hoping that they're going to bring in some men. Rome and Egypt must bring in some men. Please, 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 we need your men, people. Like, desperately. Okay, they've joined us, which is good, good, good. This time, hopefully, they won't be total douches. Uh, they want fish from Arcadia, no problem. Okay, they're attacking us here. Let's pull the trap. Okay, the trap has been sprung. Force march, join. Let's go. We can do a lot of damage here. Oh, I didn't even need them to arrive. We completely smashed them without any help. Which is cool. Let's move you back now where they came from. Yeah, let's move you back. I'll let these guys try and join the fight. You're going to stay on Force March for the moment. Thrace is up north. That's pretty cool. Come on, these forts are vitally important. If we can occupy these forts, then we're going to be pretty much golden. Still no friendly troops arrived just yet. Come on, attackers. We know you want to. Not just yet. They're not attacking us at this point in time. Well, that fort is going to really piss them off. It's a really good fort, and they don't really know what to do. I think they're pretty lost. Now, they're not at war, though. They're no longer allied to Macedon, which is interesting. Yeah, they're, they're pretty lost. They don't really know what they want to do. Uh, we've got the siege there has been won now, which is great. Um, let's move you guys up one sector. Probably move you into Thebes there now to keep you behind. Keep you behind each other. You can stay in our land and replenish. There we go. That's pretty cool. Take you off Force March. Maybe they... Yeah, they don't really know what they want to do. I think the AI is pretty much lost for words here. Egypt bring in 23,000 men, which is gorgeous. Come on, Egypt. We need you. We need you. This is the time where we can probably hope to get something done. Uh, we have another trade import route. I might get some cloth because we're no longer importing any cloth. Oh, we are, but I don't have the surplus. What does the surplus of cloth do? Autry Tech Investment. Let's get that. Get it from Egypt. Egypt are good friends. We'll import that from them. I get another trade route, by the way, to be honest. Um, oh, because of course we have another trade route. Um, I'm going to probably bang on another trade route. Let's do another local import route in Attica. Why not? We have the political influence to do so. So I feel like it's worth it. Are we also at war? I might go for them as well at some point. If we can take this this land off them, that would be even better. And that is occupied by a boa, but handed over to us. Which is good. Egypt, just disembark your men with us. Get your morale. And yes, well done, Egypt. Well done, my friend. Well done. Go over here and take Orios. That would be pretty cool. Yeah, they're going up there to fight. Yeah, Thrace is bloody doing a good job. Hopefully we can pretty much break up Macedon here. I don't want Egypt to lose against the fridge. Um, it's not something we want. Am I at war against the Nesiotic League? I am. We could take some of the Nesiotic League land maybe in that war. But Macedon's our most important goal for the moment. So you guys now, I'm going to put you in the boat. You're going to go... Out here. Onto there. I don't care about losing the men there. That's not really much of a, that's not much of a problem. Um, so the fort there has been taken, which is great. So we have the land that we need. Um, let's go over maybe here now. Let's go and take Opus. And you guys, I should probably march you guys forward. Or do I keep them together? That is the question. Probably keep you guys together, actually. I do want to take that fort quickly. It's going to be vitally useful. Probably try and wipe out that 20k stack. Let's go and deal some damage to it. Hopefully we can. They don't have any morale, so I'm hoping that we could catch them. And then come around and take these guys out. Okay, I can't get them though, but these guys are trying to come back. Let's go and deal this let's go and deal with that 10k stack. We might as well. They've got nowhere to go, there's nowhere to run. Uh, what tactic are they using, by the way? They're using bottleneck. Are they using bottleneck? Yeah, they are using bottleneck. We're using skirmishing. Looks like um, Andros is leading the way there. Um, let's go and occupy that fort there now. That would be pretty cool to do. We've got we've got the main forts here, so they can't really move too much. So I'd like to occupy this land here, which would be awesome. And then what we could do is definitely move up into their land over there. So if we can quickly take these two pieces here, I'll be quite happy. Let's hold the games, no problem. We'll hold the Olympic Games. I'm quite happy with that. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, Macedon don't really know what to do. I think they're going to think they're going for the fridge at the moment, but that's good. That gives us more than enough time to get the war goal, which we have actually got, to be honest. And hopefully we can probably spread further across. I would like to do so. Egypt and the fridge are still fighting it out. 
Egypt have got a lot of men there. Hopefully they can push them back. I don't want the fridge getting any bigger. They do have a civil war breaking out soon, which is going to fuck them up, which is going to be great. Okay, 7% here. Just need to take a few thoughts. Choosing sides. So as many as the more veteran members of our blessed political institution know, youth is a wonderful state of joy, experience, and most importantly, gullibility. Ophelus for Lady has recently emerged fresh face onto the political scene, espousing the rhetoric of the civic faction. So I can let him go towards the mercantile faction, or we can go, go to the populist faction. So I'm going to not spend any political influence here and let him go for the mercantile faction instead. Come on, 7% there. It'd be nice for that to fall. We've got the good forts here that stop all movement. And Orios has been won. The siege there is fantastic. We now occupy that land. Um, and I think we should start moving forward here now. If we can quickly peace out with Macedon, then we can focus our attention to the Nesiotic League. Um, so I'm going to bring you guys now all the way over here. Let's go and deal with that 3k snap. Might as well. Got a couple more men coming. We can, we can deal with these guys. 0% there. And then we can probably try and spill through into their land here. Olympus concluded. Who won? Head of the Harakid family. And who were you part of? What family are you from? From the Eleans. So it's the Eleans. It's these guys. Is it these guys? It is. I think it's them. Come on. 0% there. Yeah, they're running away now, which is cool. We're going to wait in Thebe here. Don't want to move too forward. Don't want to stretch all of our supplies. Or all of our line. Okay, we've got a few men here. Where are they coming? Let's go and deal with these guys. I think we can deal with them. We have better men than them. We should have got more morale. We should win the fight. Hopefully we can. Come on. Well, what tactic are they using? Let's check. They're using Phalanx. Great. We've got the right one going. Envelopment. We do more damage to them. This is great. We have better military tech. That sends them packing from the way they came, which is fantastic. Uh, you guys are going to wait here, I think, quickly a little bit until we can take this fort. Which has finally been taken, which is great. Now we're going to spread out through here now. And try and take maybe the whole land for this province and maybe this one as well. That would be the best bet. Because then we can actually block any advances with a couple of well-placed forts. So I feel like we go forward here. Let's keep it rolling. The quicker we can peace out with these scumbags, the quicker we can help. Oh, the fridge has got a revolt and a massive one at that as well. That's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. We could probably do something to this. Yeah, this is good. This is good. Come on, guys. Let's pull you through. I want to go to Amphissa here. There's a 34k stack. I would like to take them out. But we're going to need these guys to give us a hand. So what I'm going to do is we're going to force march you fellas onto these guys. Force march you guys. Hopefully we can catch them. Let's go. Straight in here. There's going to be a big battle. Major battle. What tactic they're using? We're using the right tactic, looks like it. Yeah, we are. We're using the, the right tactic, which is good. More damage. Okay, that's them taken care of. I don't need the force march for you guys anymore. Um, which one is the 10 marshal general? It's you. You're going to go down. Actually, you're going to stay there, and the other guy is actually going to move. So let's keep you guys there. The other guy, not you. You. You're going to move just below. Come on, this is where we can really gorge ourselves now. And we can really, really, really tighten the screw. I've got to wait a bit before we advance. Don't want to move you out too much. Um, I am going to move you guys now up here. Let's swap. Because that's attached. These guys have less men. And I think most of the men are going to be this side. So what we're going to do, we're going to send this guy up the other side. Uh, the treasury of Stratonikos Philade. It seems Stratonikos Philade has gotten his hands on a lot of wealth. And has started investing a great deal of silver into building an army for himself. Um, I'm going to hope of oh, damage. He's going to lose loyalty on us. That's not cool. Um, hopefully, we'll quiet down in time. Now, what I need to do is definitely bribe you quickly to get you back up to loyal uh, status. Because I don't like generals having too much power. It really does. I really don't like it. Let's take Amphisa here. We've got the whole province there, which is what we wanted. Hopefully, we can pretty much break the Macedon up to pieces here. We can probably split them right down the middle. Come on, come on. That's cool. Thank you. Let's keep moving. What do I want next? This would be nice. So we can have this province here as well. I'll be quite happy if we could take these two provinces. We're going to fill up loads of slaves as well. This is going to be fantastic. Yes, 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 Macedon. This is, this is what we wanted. This is exactly what we wanted. Let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Let's sack some of these juicy cities. They've got a lot of pops in them. Let's take the slaves. Then we can fill up Athens. Rome are coming in with men now. 
This is all this is all fantastic. I'm super hyped. I love when a plan comes to fruition. Uh, attempted bribery. Um, in Athelia disguised attempt at bribery, Stratonikos for Lede, the head of the military faction, made Pythagoras to Ramanid a particularly generous offer. We gain political influence for a favour. Yes, please, we'll have that. We'll spend the political influence as well at the end of the war. That's occupied by Egypt. Well, let's go to Ferre here. Are they going to hand that over to me? I hope so. Let's take this city here. Yeah, they are. They're handing everything over to me. Oh, ho, 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 this is interesting. Can I get some of you guys? We can. We are going to get some of you guys here. Hopefully this 28k stack is going to get caught. Yes, it has. It's been caught. What tactic they're using? They're using the... the, um, the what's it? The shock tactic. And it has a minus 10% weakness versus bottleneck. So the AI we have with us is doing a really good job. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I probably should go and help the Egyptian here. Um, quickly force march you over to the side here. Yeah, let's quickly go. I'm going to go and help them. You never know when they might need a bit of a hand here. I don't want them to lose, so... When do you get there? 10th of October, got to wait 10 days. Come on. Come on. Get there in time. Are oh, they lost. Just, just lost. But oh god, whether in they're good, they're using the envelopment tactic. Yeah, there's no extra bonus to that. Everything's good at the moment. Let's go and take Caldi John here. We won that fight there, which is great. We'll take you off the Force March now. I could take this as well. I would be freaking amazing. What do we need, actually? I want to check the decisions here quickly and see what we need for the Panhelic. I need Larissa as well. If we can get right up to Larissa, then I would be really happy. That will be good. Let's see if we can get right up to Larissa. This is the end for you, Macedon. Getting three stability. Good event. Thank you. Have another trade route. Probably get some stone in. Because we get a bonus then to the build reduction. Build cost minus 10%, which is cool. And we get extra fort defense in Athens. I like that stuff. Um, you're going to Halos now. And then we need to go to Larissa. I'll take Larissa in a minute. All right, that's been taken. We need all this now. Go take this fort here quickly. Come on. Yes, well done, my friends. Well done. We have a new ruler now on a Makos, uh, on a Marchos to Romanid, he's the Mercantile faction. So we do need to do some a little kind of re moving around to some families. We need a position, someone in a position of power. Well, Pythagoras, you're a scorned family, there we go. Lack of food in the armies. Um, yeah, we're lacking a bit of food. I'm going to quickly take it and then we're going to go back because I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any form of food here. Let's quickly go and help him. Oh, is you not loyal? Is that why you're doing what you want? Yeah, he's not loyal. Damn. Damn. Damn you. That is not good. I don't like that. I really don't. Alright, let's quickly go and help out his men there, which we are doing, which is great. Um, then I want to take Larissa quickly. Oh, we're still fighting? Oh, we killed them. Now I want to quickly take Larissa, and then I'll try and peace out for all of this. Don't know where they're going. Yeah, they've got a mind of their own now, which is not cool. But he's got Righteous, so I can't bribe the guy. Apparently he's a rival. I'm going to remove you as a rival. I should get your loyalty up. I should be able to command you now. Oh, I can. That's cool. So I'm going to make you back sieging that fort there. Alright, Larissa's been taken. Let's move you guys back home now. I need to get you back. We're going to lose a lot of men. I don't have any food. So I think that we could probably see what we could take here. Now, we're definitely going to take over all this. I definitely want this and this. I also would like this. I want that. That. I want Larissa. Now, hopefully they'll give that to us, but we can do that. So let's wait a little bit. Hopefully they'll hand over Larissa to me. Come on, Egypt. Yes, they've handed Larissa over to us, so we can do that. So I want that. And I would also like this. Hopefully we can get that, and then I can get this province as well. I'll be quite happy with that. That'll be more than enough. Could really do a really big amount of damage to Macedon here. But let's see what we can do. Right. I want this as well. This. 
would be cool. Uh, that's to Rome. I'm not giving that to Rome. No way. I'll have this, just because it's a choke point. Um, I'll take this. Why can't I take that? Actually, I'm going to send you back there to take that quickly. I need Turomakoi, whatever it's called. We'll quickly occupy this. And then I'll peace out. It's more than enough. Come on, hand it over to us. Hand it over. Hand it over. There we go, so it's handed over. Now I want this as well. Don't want to give that to Rome. I'll just take this for the moment. That's way more than enough. I want this as well, actually. I can probably get rid of Macedon out of everywhere. Oh, that's just a little bit too much. Too much, for, too much on the war goal. So, I'm thinking, let's just reset that. Let's take this. I want the little islands here, of course, because that is going to be needed. Because this is where we... Part of our home province. I want this. And this. Because that's part of this. And I definitely want this, which is vitally important. Then I want this, and I want Larissa. Okay. And I want that. That's more than enough. Um, then what can I do? Can I hand over stuff to... Thrace? I can't. I would like to, but I can't. Unfortunately. Um, yeah, well, don't matter, Thrace. Um, screw you. No, not screw you. Thanks for your help, buddy. But I can't give you anything, so... You're going to have to go without. So we're going to take that quickly. We'll also take this. Okay. We'll take Larissa here. We'll take these two pieces so it links up quite nicely. And we'll take this. Maybe this. And that. And this. Yeah, that's cool. We can take this. It's a city there. We could piece out for that. Or actually, could I... Let's get rid of that. Go for Amphissa quickly, because that's nice. I'll have that there, because that links it up. Can I stop you from... Can they release, like, a country? I could get them to release somebody. So if I was to stop this like this, and if I was to get you to release a country... Where's Boesia? Nah, that's not going to work. We'll just take the land. We'll just take the land. Um, I won't take that then. Yeah, that's cool. Because then we can get a city there with a fort. I'll block on this side. Which would be great. Just want to make sure we get everything we need here. And we have. Yeah, that is really, really good. Again, 20 aggressive expansion, but I really don't give a shit. And we have a good guy, I think, in office that can get it down. So let's definitely do that. Let's peace out. Okay, so now we have a lot of families. Um, a lot of people to bring in. Look at that. There we go. Finally. Finally, finally. There's only this little blob here that we need to take afterwards, but we could take them out. There's only they're on their own now, which is good. Um, anyway, let's bring in the people, the other elite. So I'm going to kind of pass judgment on the families here. And let's see if they've got any good characters. Hmm, how much popularity do I have? I'm incredibly popular because we win the war against Macedon, so... I'm going to welcome this guy. What about over here? Oh, you're a good general. Welcome, Alchemos. You bring in two people every time. You're pretty good. And a good... I've already bought you an Amatai. Have I? No, Andronikos? Which one are you? That's that one. You're crap. Abrias. Give refuge to Abrias. And then the other guy. Geod Geodotos. You're pretty good. And the other guy. You're also okay. Welcome you, welcome you, and we'll have the rest crucified. Okay, so now we have more people in the realm, which is fantastic. And we have won the war against Macedon. We've done a significant blow to these guys, which is absolutely fantastic. And we're going to bring you guys now back down to Athens. We need to replenish our armies, and we need to replenish the food stocks. So you're going to come down into Argos. We'll move you guys back there. All that is very freaking good. Um, now we need to go and deal some damage to the Nesiotic League and the others and help out Egypt. That's what we need to do. Help Egypt. So, what can I take? What are we off? What, who are we at war against here? Let's have a look at the diplomat mode. We're war against the Nesiotic League. We could probably try and get some of their land, to be honest. That would be great. Um, however, before we do that, there's a load of stuff we need to do. And we need to check what land we've got. So, we've got a fort here that I'm going to get rid of that I don't need. 
Um, we've got a Thebe. Got four. They're going to get rid of the one here as well now. Because we've got the fort in Thebe. This PI there. We don't need that. Delphi. I might keep one there. The one here I'm going to get rid of because it's not a city. Lamia here. We're going to have a fort for sure. Um, I'll get rid of the foundries. We'll go for fort there, which is going to be very useful. I'll go for one on Delph, which is the other side as well, which is going to be useful. have a lot of cash here, so we can spend stuff on the development. Thermos as well, we'll go for fort. All on these strategic locations. Uh, Larissa is definitely going to have a fort. And they're going to have a couple of fort levels as well. We're going to bang on level 2 fort there. Um... Because now we have this here, and there's only one passage where they can get through, and they've got to go through Larissa to come down here. And over here, they've got to come through this side, which is pretty significant. Are we also going to get rid of the fort that we don't need there? Wow, this is brilliant. We have most of the land now in this province, which is great. Um, where do we have another fort? Here in Arcadia. We could probably keep that fort, to be honest. It is a nice choke point, but I probably don't need it. So, no, let's um, get rid of the fort there. We've got one in Argos. So I don't need that one. Leprion there, we're going to go for one. Definitely go for Fort there. Because it's borders with Sparta. So we can keep these guys in check. Um, to Jaya, we could probably go for Fort there maybe. But nah, we don't need one there really to be honest. Keep one in Ellis. Where are the rest of the forts? I think that's about it. Is this a city? No, it's not. This is a city though, but I don't need one there. There's two cities, I don't really need them there. We've got one Fort there, which is pretty good. We make more than enough food, I think. Uh, let's get another trade route going and um, see if we can get some bonus gemstones. What does the bonus of gemstones get me? Country civ level and plus 10% tax for each surplus. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else do I have? I have a, um, actually, I, I don't know why I keep closing. I need to keep... Need to, old habits die hard. I just need to keep these open so I can see what I've got. I've got cloth. I now have horses, which is fantastic. I don't need to rely on importing any horses since we have the Boeotian land. Let's go for some extra gemstones. Why not? Extra tax and extra civ level. Why not? It's only cool stuff. Um, here we've got a couple of import routes. So we're going to get some food in this place. Definitely. Get some grain. Nice to get a bit of grain in there. Um, get another set of grain from the Western Delta to feed the place. I am going to quickly go onto my trade overview here. And I'm going to stop exporting grain. I want to keep the grain. So that's that done over there. Over here, I think we have another trade route available. We do. Have more than enough food there. Let's go for another set of grain, maybe, from Egypt. We'll try and feed our pops better. And go for some more grain. Egypt, the breadbasket of the world, is going to be feeding us. Um, over here now, have another trade route. I do have some here. Have more than enough food there. Here we're going to go for some... You know what? Up here, we can probably go for... Got a surplus of grain. I'm going to go for some papyrus here. We have a lot of cities, so give us some more research points. Down here. The capital will be Hermos here. Definitely. It's on the mountains and it's the passage, so let's get some... I don't have a trade route there. That's strange. No ports. That's probably why. Here, what can I go for? We've got way more than enough food. Let's go for some more papyrus. Get it from Egypt. And we'll go for some cloth, maybe, from Egypt as well. Got a way big surplus of cloth. Um, keep checking what we've got. Another import route here. Let's go for some cloth as well from Memphis. More tax. Wow, this is um, this is good. This is good. We've got a load of stuff now. Okay, now that is pretty much sorted out. Um, let's see what we can do. I need a new governor now because, of course, we have a region that doesn't belong to us. Well, that's not part of the Greek region. It is now part of Macedonia. So I need a governor, and I'd fairly like somebody with a fort defence. Or even research points. You're pretty good because you've got research points. But you're not very loyal. This guy's got... This guy's got state, religion, happiness. And this guy's got province commerce. That could be pretty good. What you've got? Local tax? No. Freeman output? No. Fort defense reduced? Not you. So I think we're going to put this guy for the research points, I think. His loyalty should increase. Actually, no, he's not very loyal, so I'm going to put him. I'll put this guy. Commerce, income, and state, religion, happiness. You're a loyal man, so I'll happily put you in charge. So now that's done. 
Maybe now we can do the missions. So we can. Securing the borders. We gain 10 stability from that. Thank you. Uh, securing the borders. With Conrinth and Tanagra secured, Attica should be safe for the foreseeable future. And we can continue to focus our efforts on the restoration process. The region has seen significant improvements in these last months. And particularly, we have seen a larger interest in the mysteries of Eleusius and the Academy. Yes, thank you. That's finished, which is pretty cool. And we gained a bit of stability out of that, which is very good, actually. Um... Now what we're going to do, I think I'm going to take a cut in the video here guys, so I'm going to take a cut and then what we'll do in the next episode, we'll finish off the war with um, Egypt against the fridge, we'll definitely try and occupy some of the Nesiotic League's land here, I think it's definitely doable, and uh, with that done, we'll continue doing the missions, we can definitely get a lot of the big boons and bonuses now, and uh, yeah, this episode was fantastic, the war was really well led, everything went really really good, and well, everything went pretty much according to plan, so I'm really happy about that. And um, anyway, as usual, thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the episode, please don't hesitate to hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more great Imperator Rome content, also consider subscribing to the channel. Anyway, thanks for joining me, fellas, and hopefully catch you all in the next one. Later, people.